Welcome back to Solving Equations with Mrs. Cartwright. Uh, so in this lesson, we're going to have uh, variables on both sides of the equal sign. Uh, so that's where these are going to look different. Um, so just jumping right on in. Uh, this is where drawing that line becomes very handy. So if I draw that line, if I have my variables on both sides of that line, then I have to do the opposite to get it to move over. I always like to move the smaller number to the bigger number, and that is including the negatives. So if I have a negative number, that's going to be smaller than a positive number. Um, so here I have the 4. It's positive, so the opposite would be to subtract 4x from both sides. I am trying to zero the x's out on one side and move them all to the opposite side. So here we have 6x minus 4x, which is 2x minus 9 equals these 4x's become 0. They zero out, and we're left with a positive 3. From here, it's a two-step equation, so I'm going to add 9 because I want to zero the 9 out and bring it over with my other constant. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides, and we're going to end up with 2x equals 12 and then divide both sides by 2 to get x to be just 1x, and our answer is 6. And if I'm not sure, then I can plug it in. 6 times 6 minus 9 should equal 4 times 6 plus 3. And so 6 times 6 is 36 minus 9, and 4 times 6 is 24 plus 3, 36 minus 9 is 27, and 24 plus 3 is 27. And so we ended up with the same thing on both sides of the equal sign. Again, this is something that you can just type into the calculator and double check. Why do I show you this? Because this gives you, um, if you're given a multiple choice, then this is one way you can solve a multiple choice problem. Uh, if you are unsure and it's like a test or something, you have the ability to check your answers before you submit them. So this would help you attend to precision. Mathematical practice number six. All right. Um, so here's a word problem. We have a town's population is 14,000 and it's increasing. So increasing would be adding by 160 people every year. So kind of like per Right? Remember we talked about multiplication can be shown in the words per, uh, but also every or even for every would be ways that we can show multiplication. Um, so we know that this is multiplying. Um, a nearby town has a population of 24,000 and is decreasing, so that's going to be subtracting, by 200 people every year so that's another multiplication and about how many years will the populations of the towns be equal so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first town i know the first town town a is fourteen thousand plus because we're increasing 160 people every year and so i'm going to use t for a year um, that's town A. And then town B, we are starting at 24,000 people. Sorry, I wasn't watching where I was writing as I started to write. Decreasing, so we'll be minus 200 people every year. So also T for a year. Now, so those are my two expressions. Now we're just going to, I want to know when they're equal. So we're going to set them equal to each other. 14,000. plus 160t equals 24,000 minus 200t. Now, I have t's on both sides of the equal sign, so I want to move them to one side. The negative 200 is my smaller number, and so I'm going to zero it out on this side. I'm going to add it to the other. Why am I doing that? Because uh, we do better when we are not dividing by a negative number. So if I can control and make it positive, then that's, in my opinion, 
better. Um, but as long as you move your variables to one side, it really doesn't matter which side you move it to. Uh, just watch your signs. Uh, so here we have 14,000 plus 360T equals 24,000. And then we're going to subtract the 14,000. And so we have 360T equals 10,000. And we're going to divide by 360. And so when I take 10,000, and divide by 360, I end up with T being approximately 27.78. And then it wants to know in about how many years. And so that would be in about 28 years. That eight doesn't quite look like an eight, but now it does. Um, and so we know that in about 28 years, uh, our popula our towns will be approximately the same. So, and that's how this example works. We'll do one more and then we'll uh, break in the videos for the other portion. All right, so on this one, we have A's. And my negative 1a, remember if it doesn't have a number in front of it, it has that invisible 1. Um, so I'm going to add 1a to both sides. And so 6a plus 1a is 7a plus 14 equals negative 7. And then I'm going to subtract 14 because I need to zero that out. And so we end up with 7a equals a negative 21. All right. Uh, and then we're going to divide by 7. And so a will equal po negative divided by positive is negative. 21 divided by 7 is 3. And so we end up with the fact that a equals a negative 3. And we could plug that in, and we're going to get the same thing on both sides of the equal sign so that we know that we are correct. And that is solving two or solving multi-step equations with our variables on both sides of the equal sign. Uh, we've got a few more examples um, to show you about decimals and fractions and just keep you comfortable with those. So until then, later.